Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first things first, I want to point out the fact that I know it looks like I have a lot of bronzer on, but I'm sure I did not even put that much on. Because I have a ring light in front of me, it's going to pick up a lot. So I don't want to hear that I have too much makeup on. Don't want to hear it. Okay, so I have a haul for you guys. I have a whole bunch of stuff to talk about. Like this haul is going to be long as hell, so get a snack, something to drink because you're gonna be here for a while, girl, watching this. So <laughs> yeah, um if you want to see what I have in my haul, then please keep watching. So the first item I'm gonna be talking about is the item that I've heard so much hype about, and it's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette. And it's so beautiful, oh my god. It comes with a plastic she over it and it comes with a mirror similar to the Tamana palette and um, what was that other palette called I don't remember but it looks like this and it's very colorful and so beautiful I already used it already but only the neutral shades not the bright shades yet because I wanted to wait to use that for um, tutorials and stuff so that's that and what I love about this is that I think it was only like thirty dollars if I, I believe it's for I don't it's thirty something I know that so I was like oh, I'm definitely getting it like why not because Luigi palettes are like fifty dollars forty something and I have posted a picture of this on Instagram and this girl goes oh don't get it because um it's what did she say she said something about like it's a piece of shit and it's whack and you might you're better off with the electric palette from urban decay and i was like oh, okay but i once i got into sephora and i saw this laying out on the counter i was like i'm definitely buying it like everybody has their own opinion so i'm definitely getting this even though i already have the electric palette so it comes with two four six eight ten twelve shades and they're all bright colors and a few neutrals so yeah and it comes with the mirror which is Perfect though. The next product that I have, excuse me, is the Too Faced Cocoa Butter. Wow, I said cocoa butter. <laughs> I can't believe I said cocoa butter. Cocoa contour, um, contour kit, and I haven't used it at all because like I've been dreading on using it because it's so cute, but. And I also wanted to show you guys in the video, I didn't want to show it all used up and beat up already. But I got this about a week ago in the mail. And it looks like this. Sorry about the glare from my ring light. But it's really nice. Um, the brown shades aren't too powerful and too dark. They're really warm and cool tones. And there's a highlight which has like some shimmery gold. And... A highlight shade which is like a light it says light cocoa and it comes with a cute little brush which is so freaking cute I love it I'm obsessed with it this ring light really makes me look washed out I freaking hate it getting off track but this brush is so cute it's an angled brush and it, you know, easy to contour the cheeks and I love it the packaging gets you I'm telling you the packaging of Too Faced is like amazing it makes you want the product so much more I can't even stress it I can't Whew, it's so hot this ring lace the next product that I have to talk about is the Makeup Forever HD High Definition Foundation I already did a review on this um yeah I almost dropped it I'm like <laughs> I'm wearing the foundation right now um my skin does look pretty shiny but not that much in person honestly in person my face is straight matte I only seep some oil through my pores um, or through my skin, just a teensy, tiny bit, smallest amount. But I also had spoken in a video, which is another part of my haul, the Step 1 Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer, both of these together, thebomb.com. The next thing that I purchased is the NARS Concealer. Uh, concealer and medium to ginger which is this and i'm wearing this right now as well under my eyes i love this this is um full coverage i believe in my opinion it's full coverage um i don't really need that much to put on my face 
And I do believe a little goes a long way with this concealer. So currently this is my favorite concealer. Next thing I bought is the Makeup Forever Professional Pro Sculpting Duo Highlight. And it looks like this. This is in the shade, what does it say? What does it say? It's like the bronzy shade. The other one has like a cool pinkish highlight. But this is the bronzy one. And I really like bronzy highlights. And you know, I just like bronzy stuff. Like I, I think I used this today, did I? I'm not sure. <laughs> I have so many highlights on right now. But I like bronzy makeup on me. I think it complements my skin more. So that's why I picked this up. And it's perfection. I'm gonna swatch it for you guys. And I don't know if you could see that, that's the gold shimmery shade, and I am obsessed. Like, when I swatched this at Sephora, I'm like, I have to buy it. Like, I'm like that with all the highlights. Like, if it's good, I'm just like, I'm like a highlight addict when it comes to makeup. Like, I just, I love highlights. Like, I will stack and stack and stack on highlights. Like, I don't care. I can never have enough highlights. Which is why I bought two more highlights, which is both of my NARS. And I'm going to shake them because they're a little weird looking. Um, this one I purchased at the store and this one I ordered online. But not that it really matters. This one is super... No, sorry. This one's Orgasm <clears throat> Illuminator. And this one is Super Orgasm Illuminator. And... Or Illuminator, I should say. Gorgeous highlight. Sorry, I keep looking in the viewfinder. Because I'm going in and out of focus. It looks like. I don't know. Gorgeous shades um this has like a pinky like honestly let me check this up what you see right here is what you see when you swatch it like it's a peachy shade with um a gold undertone which is beautiful like beautiful i would not lie to you like this is gorgeous and i'm going to swatch these two right now so the one that I'm pointing to right now, to your left, is Super Orgasm, and to your right is Orgasm, both by NARS, and they're both the Illuminators. The next highlight shade that I purchased is Soft and Gentle by MAC Cosmetics. Beautiful, gorgeous shade. No lie. Like, no lie. Oh my god, my eyelash. <laughs> no lie. I don't know, gorgeous. I had seen my friend get this applied on her face at MAC when she was getting her makeup done for her birthday. I had to run up to the makeup artist and I was like, I was like, what highlight is that? <laughs> she goes, oh, this is soft and gentle. I was like, I have to get it. And I ran and then I was like, excuse me, can I please have soft and, soft and gentle highlight? They're like, yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is how it looks like. Gorgeous, very, I like to call it glam. <laughs> it's really sparkly. It's beautiful. I don't know if I could swatch this for you guys. It's the middle shade. Just as bright as the NARS highlights. It's just like a powdery, you know, finish, I guess you could say. It's a mineral. Because it's, it's called Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish. So. And these are illuminators, which are liquid. So, yeah. The next thing I purchased from Sephora is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Deep Tan Matte Bronzer. And it's so beautiful. Oh my god, I use some of it already. And I love bronzers. I am a sucker for bronzers. I love them. Too Faced, in my opinion, best bronzers. I love them. I love the packaging. I love Too Faced. So, going to swatch this for you guys. And this is the bronzer shade right here. I'm not wearing it today, but it's pretty similar to the shade as well. Excuse me. And it's so cute. And it comes with a little mirror which I like, so that's cute. The next product is by Anastasia Beverly Hills and it's the Retro Coral Liquid Lipstick. I'm in love. I haven't used this at all yet, haven't swatched it, 
nothing. So this is my first time just watching it at all. And it literally feels like paint, these liquid lipsticks. This is Retro Coral. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spring and summer lip color. I cannot wait to wear this. And I've been freaking looking for Pure Hollywood. And, um, oh, what was the other one? I forgot what it's called, but I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. So. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. And basically this is like a setting powder for like a matte finish face without giving you any color to the face. Which I am wearing today also. And I love it. So it also helps me... It helps my skin... No. I don't want to say this. It helps prevent my skin from getting oily or as oily as it would normally get. That makes sense. So I would recommend this if you're a makeup artist and you want to do clients makeup. This is a must have in your makeup kit. I swear to God. <laughs> the next things that I purchased from Sephora are my Urban Decay blushes and they are amazing. I haven't used any good blushes in my entire life. Like these are perfection. I have five of them and they are a little bit pricey if you do get them all at once because they're $26 each. So I kind of got them separate a little bit at a time. So the first shade that we have is Bang and it's supposed to be an 8 hour wear blush which is true because it stays on all day, majority of the time. Kind of as long as a school day and it's like a reddish orange color and I love it and these are highly pigmented blushes, love them. They're just as good as the NARS blushes, but they're cheaper, so that's why I bought these. So I'm going to swatch that. I'm not going to swatch all of them because it's so small. I don't want to use up everything. Where am I going to swatch this? I'm running out of space. So this is the blush right here. As you can see, very pigmented and a little goes a long way. So especially with those bright colors, just put a little bit. Don't put too much because it will be powerful on the face. The next, uh, the next shade is <laughs> Obsessed, and it's like a baby pink, so cute. This one is called Bittersweet, and it's a purple shade, which is very unique because I never had a purple blush, so I was like, I have to get this. Next is Crush Blush. I've been wearing this lately in my Instagram pictures. Everybody's like, oh my god, what blush is that? It looks gorgeous. And this is a shade, it's so cute. Like, it's the perfect pink, like I love it. Like, I, I, I always reach for this blush and I'm probably gonna run out of it soon, it's my favorite. The last one is called Indescent, I believe. And it's a peachy shade and I'm wearing this today. And I love it, it's so cute. So next, I have a Dirty Beauty Blender, which I already started using, so, but I have purchased this at Sephora. Next, I order online by Anastasia Beverly Hills is the Bro, Bro, Brow, because I looked at Brow and Pro, and I mixed them up, the Brow Pro Palette, and I bought this for clients, so I can fill in their eyebrows with a variety of the eyebrow shades without having to buy the different dip brows if that makes sense if you guys know what i'm talking about i freaking love it it looks amazing like i just love how makeup looks and just like i have to have it like what is wrong with me i'm a makeup addict i am definitely a makeup addict last but not least is my eyelashes so these are beautiful and these are all lashes by coco they're coco lashes and i have a whole bunch of them and more so the first is called that has no name on it goddess i'm gonna zoom up for you guys so you guys can see this so this is goddess this shade the shade wow this one is called you can see that bella so okay i'm not gonna move it no more because the ring light is gonna make it worse but it looks like this 
the next one is called Soho. And I like these because they're, in my opinion, they're more natural looking lashes. The next one is called Misha. And I've used these, as you can see, they're falling off. The little circle things. These are ultra, uh, ultra. <laughs> also like natural eyelashes. I'm sorry if I'm out of focus. I think I need to like come closer. So these are how these look. The next one is called Risque. And they're dramatic, which I love for my dramatic makeup tutorials. This one is called Ariel. Very pointy, which I really like. And this one is called... Oh, this one has no name, but it's the number 102. And I like these because they look natural as well. And next, I have my LA Splash eyelashes, which look like this. So they're mainly dramatic lashes, which I really like. And I'm also wearing their lashes right now, and I'll show you up close. So these are one of the lashes from LA Lashes. Sorry, okay, yeah, now my skin is getting oily because I'm freaking sweating my ass off. So, these are the lashes. So that's basically it for my makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is like the most stuff that I've had to do a haul before. Oh, so much stuff. Um, sorry about the lighting. I'm really trying to improve my lighting, but it's not working with me. But I'm doing the best that I can um yeah so that's basically it um oh also i want to thank everybody who has recently subscribed to my channel thank you so much i appreciate it um yeah so like this video if you like it and i'll see you in the next video